Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 3 November 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior contributing editor online Tasneem Bulbulia writes that Mintech's Amazemet acquisition aims to support South Africa's additive manufacturing ambitions. Mintech's latest technological acquisition, the Amazemet Repowder Ultrasonic Atomization and Alloy Development Machine, is an extremely advanced piece of equipment that is expected to strengthen and bolster the country's minerals-based and three-dimensional printing industries. The engineering news features focus on warehousing and storage, where a new warehouse is set to bolster a logistic provider's position in the sector and business in Africa, where a boiler and steam generator supplier are servicing businesses across Africa. The Mining Weekly features focus on mine mechanization, modernization and innovation, where a flame-resistant screen media innovation sparks safer mining. And project management, where better project management can improve a mine's capital productivity. This week's business leader is Narosh Machetti, the CEO of Avon and Dedisa Peaking Power. And as this week's cartoon shows, as has been the case for several years and with several of his predecessors, South Africa's poor growth rate continues to act as the main constraint in enabling Finance Minister Eno Godondwana to release the resources needed to ensure social fairness while maintaining fiscal balance. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.